Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to be doing Cancer versus all 12 signs, uh, career messages, and single messages, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do the timestamps as we go. Uh, so guys, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and um, this is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Links for the um, uh, the timestamps will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and start with cancer spirit. Tell me about cancer, please. Cancer dealing with another cancer, please. For December 13th, cancer dealing with another cancer, please. Love messages for December 13th. So we've got the Hierophant, the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Fool. Hierophant, Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Fool. So Cancer, I feel like if you're dealing with another Cancer today, I feel like someone here does want to overcome in this connection with you regardless of what other people are saying. This person is really wanting to invest in this. They're wanting to commit. They're wanting marriage. They're wanting to take that leap away of faith with you. And they may uh, send you a message or communicate with you today that they really want this regardless of any challenges that you guys are facing. Okay. All right. So moving on to Scorpio. Spirit, tell me about cancer dealing with a Scorpio, please. Love messages <coughs> for December 13th, please. So we've got the Three of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Whoa. Okay, so Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio today, you may be getting ghosted here. You may be wondering, where did this person go? You're feeling a little confused. This person uh, ghosted you. I feel like this person told you they loved you and then just fell off the face of the earth. Or maybe you fell in love with them and they just fell off the face of the earth. So today you may be wondering what happened. Okay. Um... Spirit, tell me about Pisces, please. Cancer dealing with a Pisces. Love messages for Cancer dealing with a Pisces, please. December 13th. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like someone here has withdrawn because... <coughs> <coughs> Because they're trying to figure out how to apologize, okay? Someone here is trying to figure out how to make something work without you beating them up, okay? I feel like there was a bad fight that broke out. Maybe things said that there were things said that weren't supposed to be said. Um, it was just an ugly argument here. And somebody wants to come in. They want to do the right thing. They want to apologize, Um If you haven't heard from this person, it's because they're trying to figure out what to say. They don't want to come back and apologize and there would be a fight. They want to try to work things out. So they're trying to really word things perfectly to actually come be able to reconcile with you. Okay. All right. Spirit, what do we have here for my beautiful Cancers dealing with a Virgo, please? Love messages for Cancer dealing with Virgo, December 13th. Oh boy. Okay. So we've got the Emperor. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Strength card. So Cancer, if you're dealing with a Virgo here, I feel like someone left. Someone pulled back from the connection. Um, they're, they're trying to sneak away or they tried to sneak away. And now with the Five of Swords, and this is someone that sabotaged a connection with you cancer this is somebody that with that emperor energy they they got really cold with you they stonewalled you they just you know they they were like no i don't want you know what i'm saying like somebody here just like disappeared you know but now they're starting to look back like crap what did i do this is this was like an empty victory cancer okay someone here is looking back and starting to realize man did i mess up you know, did I mess up? Yeah, someone's look. This is a person that's looking back at the past, looking back at an ex, saying, I think I messed up. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see what we have here. Taurus energy. For, nope, five minutes. Okay. 
Spirit, tell me about Cancer dealing with a Taurus, please. Cancer dealing with a Taurus. Love messages for December 13th. Love messages for December 13th. <coughs> Cancer, if you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like someone here has been waiting to find out a truth, okay? And the truth that someone's finding out here is... I feel like someone here was claiming, I feel like someone here thought that they found a divine soulmate, a divine soul tie, okay? And with the devil card here, I feel like it may have been a lie. Like maybe someone here, yeah, see the death card. Like someone here switched up real quick. It's like someone came in and made all these promises of forever and we're going to be together forever and we're going to, you know, uh, be, you know, get married and do all of these things. And then someone stalls the connection. And I feel like you're finding out cancer that this person was toxic this whole time. Um, th they just switch up on you with that death card. Like they just, they just totally change up on you and it just kind of throws you off. Okay. All right. So Let's see, Cancer dealing with a Capricorn, please, Spirit. Tell me about Cancer dealing with a Capricorn, please. Love messages, December 13th. The Moon, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Okay, so I feel, Cancer, that someone here is, your person is coming in to apologize, okay? They're coming in to apologize, but with the Moon card, you don't even know what they're apologizing for, okay? With the Five of Cups, this person has a lot of regrets. I feel like they're coming towards you. They're wanting commitment. They're choosing you, but the truth of the matter is that someone here may have been talking to someone else or had someone else in the picture, um, so they're choosing you. They're going to come back and talk to you, but with secrets, Cancer, this person has secrets. They're coming back and it's it's not the full truth. They're not going to tell you what they've been up to while you guys were fighting. Okay. All right. Let's use a different deck for the second half. All right. Spirit, tell me about cancer dealing with a Leo, please. Tell me about cancer. <coughs> cancer dealing with a Leo, please. For Cancer dealing with a Leo, please, for December 13th, please. Love messages. Okay, so we've got the Four of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. We've got the Three of Cups. And we have the Devil. Cancer, you are dealing with a twin flame energy here. You're dealing with a, a divine counterpart. The problem here is, is that this person, you're going to find out today that they are hurting you, possibly for a third party energy. So either this person hurts you and now they're obsessed about wanting to come back and reconcile, or Cancer, this person is planning on hurting you uh, because of a third party. Like it's premeditated, okay? All right, so let's see here. All right, Spirit, tell me about Cancer dealing with an Aries, please. Cancer dealing with an Aries, please. Love messages for December 13th. Oh, goodness, Cancer. I feel like someone here is stuck in their head that this is going to end. Someone here is going into defense mode because they feel like something is happening behind their back. So Cancer, that could be you. That could be your person. Um, someone here may find out some information and now they're... F the, the, High Priestess and the Eight of Cups. Someone here may be getting some information or a message comes in where now someone here has fear that they're going to be left. Or someone here is scared... Yeah, someone's scared. Something's about to happen. Uh, there's a message. Something is about to happen, and someone here has fear that it's going to cause the ending of a connection. Yeah, someone here said something, or something's going to be found out, and someone is scared. Yeah, someone has regrets. I feel like someone here said something or did something, and now they're scared that it's going to cause the end of the connection. Okay, so let's see what we have here for Sag. Spirit, tell me about Cancer dealing with a Sagittarius, please. 
Love messages for Cancer and Sag, December 13th. Okay. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. And we've got the Five of Wands. So, Cancer, I feel like if you're dealing with a Sag... You want a future with this person. You want things to work with this person. You want that stability with this person. But with the Two of Swords and the Five of Wands, it's like you have no choice but to cut it out because there's nothing but constant drama. There's nothing but consistent fighting over and over and over again. And I feel like you're looking for more of a stable type of situation. Okay? Um... <coughs> Spirit, tell me about Cancer dealing with an Aquarius, please. Tell me about Cancer dealing with an Aquarius, please. Love messages, December 13th. Oh, wow. Okay. Cancer, somebody here that is dealing with an Aquarius, maybe someone from overseas or someone that you had an ending with, um, this person is coming back around to talk to you. Okay. This person has been taking the time to think on what they want to say to you. This person's trying to manifest a new beginning with you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the World card. The Nine, yeah, I feel like this. you're dealing with someone here that wants to come back around and talk to you, and they've spent a lot of time thinking about what they want to say to you. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Cancers dealing with a Libra, please. Tell me about Cancers dealing with a Libra, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer dealing with a Libra. Love messages for December 13th. Cancer, if you are dealing with a Libra, I feel like you're going to feel very disappointed today. You're going to feel like you're not getting the attention that this person normally gives you. I feel like you gave something to this Libra. You gave the money, lent them something, and they took it and ran. Okay, so maybe you had sex with this person. Maybe you lent them money. It's like you, you gave them what they wanted, and then you got stopped getting attention from them. Yeah. And that sucks. That's a crappy feeling. You know, that's a crappy feeling. All right. So moving on to Gemini. All right. Let's see what we have here for Cancer dealing with a Gemini, please, Spirit. Tell me about Cancer dealing with a Gemini. Love messages, December 13th. So we've got the Two of Pentacles. We have Temperance. We have the Chariot. And we've got the Hierophant. Cancer, this person's coming towards you saying that they want to commit, saying that they want forgiveness, saying that they're going to act right. But with the Two of Pentacles, you're not really believing it. You're not really believing it. I think that you're going to give them the chance to put the work in to see if they're serious, but you're not. You're taking everything with a grain of salt. You're not really believing anything this person has to say. Okay. So let's see what we have here for my singles. Spirit, tell me about Cancer Singles. Cancer Singles for December 13th. What do Cancer Singles need to know? Uh, we've got the Eight of Cups. We've got the Page of Pentacles. We have the Strength card. And we've got the World. So Cancer, for those of you who are planning to be single, for those of you who are walking away from something, I feel like you're about to get an apology here because someone doesn't want you to walk away. They don't they don't want you to leave. What else do we have for my Cancer singles? Yeah, see Queen of Pentacles and the 3 of Pentacles and the Emperor. Someone here is really going to want to work things out with you. Okay, there so for those of you, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but th that's for those of you who are planning on leaving something behind or you thought you've left something behind and you're single, this person's going to come back, they're coming to get you. They they don't they're not going to let you go off and be with someone else, okay? All right, so let's see what we have here for career and finance. Spirit, tell me about career and finance for cancer, please. Career and finance for cancer, please. Career and finance for cancer, December 13th. We've got the six of pentacles. We've got the nine of swords. We have the eight of swords. And we've got the two of swords.
Okay, so Cancer, I feel like you're giving money to somebody and you're you're you want to stop because you don't know what they're using it for. So if you're giving money to a friend, like someone here may be consistently asking you for money and it's starting to stress you out. The judgment card, you're making a final decision here. The high priestess. I feel like what you're doing here, Cancer, it's an energy of, listen, if you love me, then you're going to love me whether I give you money or not. That's it. You're making the judgment call and saying, if you want me to be in your life, I can offer you love, but I'm done giving you money. And with the high priestess, that's you following your higher judgment. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're really my friend and if you really love me, then whether I give you money or not, you'll stick around. But I feel like someone is consistently asking for money, asking, wanting, wanting, wanting. And it's starting to stress you out because you're like, what are they even doing with this money? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is, what is this person even doing with this money? Six of pentacles here in the nine of swords. We've got the sun card, eight of swords and the two of swords and the eight of wands. Yeah, it's either this person needs to tell you what they're doing with this money or, you know, you're done. You know what I'm saying? You're done. Okay. All right, guys. I love you so much and take care. Bye.